So today we're going to talk about some of the great wines we had for our tasting. Uh, these are some of the uh, best wines for spring or early spring drinking. Uh, the first wine we had was an Albarino from northwest Spain. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a white wine grape that goes outstanding with seafood, uh, chicken, uh, but especially the seafood that's, uh, that's in that area, Galicia. Um, Taste-wise, fresh, clean, dry finish, good fruit, and it actually has a little bit of saltiness in the mid-palate. Saltiness comes from the vineyards that are so close to the ocean right there. An outstanding wine, um, sold a ton of it today. Great winer. You want I, to I'll go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about this rosé from Petit Paisan. This is a winemaker named Ian Gray who goes around and finds these wonderful little vineyards that are full of somewhat underappreciated grapes uh, in areas that are not so popular in California. And he does this wonderful rosé that's very much the provincial style, mostly more verdure with a little touch of uh, Grenache and some so. It's got that beautiful little bit of a mineral nose, uh, but you still have that nice rich California fruit there. Still a dry rosé, but maybe a little fuller body than what you'll see coming out of Provence. Uh, a delicious wine, perfect with so many meals. It's a great, I guess I'll use the word, porch pounder, uh, where you can just sit there and just enjoy it with your friends and light hors d'oeuvres. Mike, you want to talk about the Crows? So we're going back to France here. Uh, Crows Hermitage is an area in the northern Rhone in France. Uh, the grape here in Crows Hermitage is Syrah. The, uh, the, the producer here, Sorel, is a very famous producer. Uh, he makes a wine that's very clean, fresh, uh, not overly oaked, not overly, it's, it's not a heavy style of, of, of wine. I think it's a great wine to have with uh, uh, something Easter, uh, uh, leg of lamb with uh, garlic, uh, just the perfect combination of full-bodied red wine uh, that goes well with uh, so many foods, especially barbecue. If you were doing anything, throw the leg of lamb on the barbie. Uh, great wine for that. Okay, you know, I'm going to finish up with one of my favorite wines. Actually, Mike and I just came back from Burgundy. And uh, we're going to do uh, the main Dubai uh, Montelli. They're going to do their little Oxidores uh, Premier Cru. Not a very heralded area, but a great place to find spectacular Burgundy uh, values. This is a tiny, tiny producer. 20,000 cases total production of what he does. Uh, in this particular wine, I believe we are looking at probably under 2,000 bottles, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's, a, it's, it's got gorgeous Pinot fruit, not full body but just a beautifully elegant wine with a nice touch of minerality that floats through it. Um, this, is, this is what is quintessential Burgundy to me. And a phenomenal value for a Premier Cru Burgundy at only $40. Just a phenomenal value. 